Hello, I'm Kevin Hayes, the Story Man. Welcome to the Nightly Bedtime Story Podcast, where you can hear a bedtime story every night. Tonight's bedtime story is Old Clothes. It's about a little lobster, and the little lobster tells us how he outgrows his clothes, and, well, you'll see. I hope you like it. Old Clothes, read to you by Kevin Hayes, the Story Man. The sunniest of days, the clearest and loveliest of blue seas, and I, a little lobster, young, proud, and as lively as a cricket. That is what people say, but I can't help thinking as lively as a shrimp would sound better. I always wear a lovely suit of armor, like those old warriors you read about. It is strong and firm and well-jointed, so that I can move ever so fast. Of course, not so fast as that silly little fish. He has armor, too, he says, but wears it inside. That seems strange to me. I can't quite believe it. But I want to tell you what a strange thing happened to mine not long ago. It grew small and shabby, like your last year's clothes. That is why I have called this story Old Clothes. Listen, I lived a very happy life out at sea for some time, till one day I fell into a strange basket box thing. There were several other lobsters and one or two crabs sitting there, looking anxious and disturbed, and I soon found out that they had need to feel so, for there was no exit. That means way out, in plain words. Our basket was joined to a strong rope, and that was attached to a cork floating on the top of the water. Not long after I had fallen into this basket, which I now know was a lobster trap, a boat rowed out from the shore, stopped just above us, and then we were lifted up, up, right out of the water, and placed in the boat. The next thing was a good deal of pushing and knocking about, and then someone tossed me carelessly out on the beach, saying roughly, too small for any use. But someone else thought differently. Another hand touched me, and another voice said, just the thing for my aquarium. What that meant I could not even guess, but it turned out to be the tiniest sea in the world. Steady old limpets, red anemones, hermit crabs, and shrimps were all there. It was a very nice home with plenty of good food, the only drawback being want of space. And now the event happened that I promised to tell you about. My armor took to hurting me. You will hardly believe me, we all know that new clothes hurt sometimes, but old ones? It grew tighter and tighter. I wriggled about, feeling miserable. Oh, if only I could get out of this. At last I grew desperate. This choked, tight feeling was too much. I gave a tremendous struggle and shook myself, crickle, crackle, wit my old armor. Off it came, and out I stepped. But oh, so tender and so nervous. The shrimps pranced round and knocked up against me, poking and tormenting till I could have screamed. I crept behind a stone and looked at my old armor half sadly. It looked just like old me, only so still, and rather as if it had been out in the rain all night and had shrunk. Then I glanced at the new me. Well, I was a pretty fellow, not blue-black any longer, but a reddish pink of lovely hue. Someone else took pride in my appearance, for I heard again a voice say, Look at my lobster. He has cast his shell. I hadn't, you know. It was the shell that had cast me. But these men can't know everything. The man touched me, but he hurt me almost as much as the shrimps, and I shrank farther still behind the stone out of his way. There I quietly lay for some days, till one morning, feeling braver and ever so much bigger, I stepped out for an early saunter. That moment came a voice. Oh, here is my lobster. How he has grown, more than half as big again. Down came the hand as before, and just to show him I was also half as strong again, I gave him a nip. He keeps his hands above water now, and me at arm's length. The End I hope you like tonight's bedtime story, Old Clothes. Well, lobsters sure go through a lot to change into new clothes, don't they? 
I tell you what, the guy that had the aquarium sure learned his lesson. You don't put your hands in an aquarium right after a lobster has changed his clothes. Or any other time there's a lobster in there. Probably a good lesson to remember. I'm Kevin Hayes, the Story Man. I'll be back tomorrow night on the Nightly Bedtime Story podcast to read you another bedtime story. But for tonight, good night.